Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with functions is going to concentrate on uh, what we mean by a composition of functions or more importantly composition of functions. Okay, I suppose before we can actually we can actually get there we probably need a definition of what we mean by composition of functions and that's what I want to provide here. Uh, so let's just provide a definition. So we have a definition, our definition uh, the definition is going to look something like this, okay? Uh, so let's say let let f be a mapping from a into another set b, and g be a mapping from a set b into another set c, okay? And let them be functions. So let this particular mapping and this mapping be functions, okay? So they're functions, and that's important. So they're not just relations, they're not just mappings from a into b, okay? They're actually functions, so they're restrictions on the relations, okay? Which basically means that, with respect to f, that every single value in a is taken to some value in b. That's the first condition, that, f to, uh, that uh, that's the first restriction that we should have with respect to a relation becoming a function that when we do the mapping that every single value in a is taken to a value in b that's the first condition and then the second condition is this is that if we have two different values in a okay and if we apply the mapping for all two different values for all separate values in a okay every time we choose two values and they're different and that when we apply the mapping okay uh, that the mapping must be taken to two separate values in b okay so there's our two conditions uh, to be a function okay uh, and similarly for g g is a function which means that for every value in b in the set b in its domain every value or every element of this particular set is taken to a value in c okay that's the first condition that must be satisfied and then the second condition is that if we choose any two values from B, where them two values are different, and we apply the mapping to them two values, well then what we must have is that them two values are taken to two separate values in C. Okay, So these are functions, so F and G satisfy those two conditions associated with a function. Okay, So let F be a mapping from A to B, and G be a mapping from B to C, and let them be functions. Okay, uh, Well then the composition, okay, the composition of f and g, okay, the composition, the composition, okay, okay, of f and g, okay, uh, it's typically written, okay, written, okay, written, uh, g after f, okay, okay, uh, is the function, is the function, is the function, okay, uh, from a from a to c okay so if we want to do if we want to uh, uh, create a composition of functions okay okay if we have two functions let's say this function is f and maps a into b and another function g that maps b into c well the composition of f and g written g after f or g o f g after f is simply a mapping from a directly into C, okay? Uh, and what's important here is that every value of A is taken to some value in C. And that what we end up with is we end up with a function, and this function is from A to C, okay? Uh, and it's defined as, okay, it's defined, it's defined as, I suppose, it's defined as G after F of X, okay? This is the notation for it, okay? So this is the composition of functions, okay? The indeterminate is X. X comes from this particular domain, A. So uh, it's it's G after F of X, okay? Is equal to, it's equal to, well, first of all, what we do is we apply F to X, we evaluate the function F at X, and then with that particular value, we pass that into the function G, and we apply the function G to the value that f of x was evaluated to and this is for all for all uh, x's that are elements of the set a okay so composition of functions is basically a mapping from one set through another set to a third set if that makes sense and let's maybe have a look at a particular example okay we'll keep it simple we'll keep the set simple okay uh, let's say let so here's an example okay okay here's an example okay so let's say let let the set a equal to values one, two, three, and four. Uh, let the set b equal the values a, b, c, d, and e. And 
let c equal let the set c equal to values 7 8 and 9 okay uh, and what we want to consider i want to consider the functions consider let's consider 